Ben's Toyland. Hey guys, welcome back to the Toyland. I'm coming back at you with another different review, continuing my SDCC 2016 weekend review blowout extravaganza crazy mania thing I got going on here. Some of you might know what this is, well some of you probably more than those of you who know what it actually is in this box probably recognize these and this logo. Yeah, Dragon Ball Z. This is a set of all seven Dragon Balls. They are small, four centimeters it says there. So not too hefty in size. There are bigger ones out there. Yeah, there's all your warnings. Alright, so it's got a magnet box. I thought that was pretty cool. The box is like a little collector's item within itself. But you open it up here, and there they are. They're little, but they look nice. Let's, uh, here, I'll take out the four star, the infamous four star. Let you guys get a look at this thing here. The camera focus. Yeah, check it out. Pretty nifty. You can see the stars inside here are molded. They're I know how to make these. It's actually pretty simple. You just get some resin, dye it orange, and make a mold. Yeah, it's not too difficult of a process actually. And I'm thinking about making some. But yeah, it looks like they used maybe Play-Doh or something. Like the stars are actually three dimensional. Um I have a larger ball, a larger four star, that I think they're like stickers on the inside or whatever. They're flat though. I'm going to actually pause and go get that to compare. Okay, back with the large four star ball. Now you can see ah, this little stay open. It is considerably larger. But as I rotate it here, you can see see the stars disappear. Stars, no stars, stars. You can see the seam there. You can see a seam in both of them. Really not too bad. But I love this large one. I actually got this before I got these smaller ones, and I can't recommend them enough. I mean, I got it for cheap. It was like eight bucks. But like I said, I know how to make them now, and I'm thinking about making a set of all seven large ones, especially because I can use this one for the mold, so they'll all be exactly the same size. So, yeah. There you have that. A fun little tidbit. I need to put this Dragon Ball somewhere so it does not roll and get hurt. Because they will break if they hit the ground, a hard surface. But there they are. You have your one, your two, three... Four, five, six, and seven in the middle. They come in this neat little. It's there's a foam, some kind of foam under there. It's a little pillow. It's indented for each one, and it's got this uh, golden yellowish uh, sheet over it. It's just a nice little touch. The box itself, like I said, is pretty cool. Um, I didn't really go over the art, but here we got Kid Goku. Follow. These are both from Dragon Ball. Kid Goku, like I guess teen, pre-adolescent Goku or something. <laughs> Super Saiyan Goku from early in Z and Super Saiyan 3 from near the end of Z. Again, the seven uh, Dragon Balls. There we have Vegeta on that side. Shenron's on the bottom. And there is uh, Gogeta. And another piece of Shenron. And yeah, that's, that about covers that. So, pretty cool little set. Um, you can find them on Amazon pretty cheap. Uh, if you're a DBZ fan or you know someone who is, highly recommend them. Uh, they seem to be pretty popular. And just a cool little gift for anyone who enjoys the series. So, yeah, that's where you can pick them up. Like I said, Amazon. Uh, I'm sure there's other places, but that's what I recommend. Amazon, quick and easy. So, there you go. Uh, thanks for tuning in. I'll have, like I said... In all the previous videos, more videos coming this weekend. Lots and lots of videos, lots of filming, lots of editing, lots of uploading. So be on the lookout. Till then, keep on rocking, guys.